good morning. I am at a truck stop. You know, I never really, I never make videos about my trucking experience, my being a truck driver, but I really enjoy uh, being a truck driver. Good morning. So, it's morning time. It's time for me to get going. I should have, I, I actually, I should have probably got up earlier, but like, um, I, I, I was just so tired. Like, I woke up at 10 o'clock, and I think I went to sleep at 9. I, I woke up at 10, and I think I went to sleep at 9 or, or something like that, and I couldn't get to sleep for like two hours, so right now it's uh, 8 o'clock, so I've gotten about six hours of sleep. Um, so anyways... So, I just, uh, you know, I really, I really enjoy what I do. Um, I really, I really enjoy it. I mean, I know I'm tired, I'm not, but I really enjoy being a truck driver. I mean, it's the best thing uh, that I could have ever done. Now, I don't enjoy it more than when I worked at the high school. When I when I, I used to work at um, Arlington High School and I uh, was a campus su supervisor or campus security, um, unarmed security, and um, you know I love I love working and uh, having the freedom to um, just uh, deal with people, deal with different students. Um, show them kindness and grace and mercy I love that I, I love dealing with the students because I gained a lot of a lot of friends uh, a lot of people that um, became kind of like surrogate children to me surrogate uh, teenagers children to me and um, you know I was able to make some changes in their lives I have some of those those uh, I have some students that are on my Facebook. They're on my Facebook friends list now. I know they don't all. That I'm pretty sure they don't always agree with the things that I say, but they haven't disregarded me. Um, and when I had a MySpace, I had a few friends on my MySpace too. Um, from when I used to work at um, Arlington High School, uh, they gave me their MySpace page. You know because they knew that I cared I was tough but they knew I cared um, so really and truly that was one of my favorite jobs and if during the time I was doing that I, I would have done that for free if I could if I didn't have um, if I didn't have uh, worries of finances I would have volunteered my time uh, now I, I'm, I wouldn't go as far as to say that I would volunteer my time in the trucking because you know, I I mean I, I don't I, I don't get paid enough <laughs> for the stuff I had to put up with ignorant motorists on the road, four wheelers and other eighteen wheeler drivers. And there are times that I do stupid things while I'm on the road too. So I mean it's like I can't I can't just be upset with other drivers when I know that I've done dumb things too. But um, I think out of out of all the employments that I've had, because I'm a Gemini, I'm, I'm a I'm a jack of many trades. I've done all kind of things, and um, I think um, even though working in the school district was the most fulfilling, this is my favorite job. I, I you know I wouldn't do it for free, but. This is my favorite job. I, I love it. I love it. It's it's difficult. It's challenging, but I love it. I love it. I get I get to drive around. If I want to put my music on, I can. I, you know, I haven't put on my my uh, PS4 because you know I've been really just focusing on God and you know stuff like that. So I only go on on Facebook uh, and. Um, 
I guess I guess people would would say I'm preaching, but but you know I get it honestly. My mom, my mom used to do that to us, so it it and uh, it, it's I get it honestly. So it's not like I'm trying to be wrong. I just get it honestly. But um, yeah. So I just wanted to say good morning and um, show off my little show off the little truck stop I'm at. Well, it's actually a big one. It, it's not as big as Iowa 80. Iowa 80 has uh, not over 900 truck parking. Um, this has, I don't know, maybe close to 300 truck parking. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, there's nothing like being, there's nothing like, understand, there's nothing like having a Class A license. And I've said this before, many times, before this pandemic stuff started, that if you had the, if you didn't have children, or if you did have children, but you were able to become a truck driver, then become a truck driver. I've always said that if you have a functional driver's license, go get your California, uh, or your, your CDL, your uh, commercial driver's license. Because if you get your commercial driver's license, and you keep your even if you don't start driving trucks right away, uh, you can go through your your state, your 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 state, and try to see if you can get a a, um, a low government funded. You know, everybody wants handouts, so why don't you try to see if you can get a government funded educational program that will help you get your CDL, and then go out and um, you know get uh, at least have it. Now, I can't say that it'll do you any good because um, it doesn't look good for the world. I'm not talking about just America. I haven't been looking at world news, but I already understand that what goes on with America affects everybody else in the world. So, because because you because you don't understand spiritual things, you won't understand what I'm saying. Uh, you may understand it in a carnal sense because right now. A lot of things was tied to the American dollar. Now that's all about to change, um, but everything's set in place for the for the Antichrist beast system to fully emerge itself. And what I'm saying is that um, I I know y'all don't like Trump, but God put Trump in office for His people to come out of darkness. Because it sure worked for me. This whole pandemic and everything leading up to where I'm at right now. Because if you bought, if you read my first post I made when I said I'm not sure Donald Trump won't be president. Because there are too many people thinking that he's God. Or he's this and he's that. If you don't read, if you didn't read that post and see that I've made a complete 181, 180 turn from when I first wrote about Donald Trump and his presidency and all that happened since March there is something going on in the spirit and people who are children of God need to pay attention to it you need to repent turn around and believe the gospel and uh, give up your evil ways this is not a joke it's not a joke it's not a joke it's not a joke you want you hate Trump you are putting you put causing yourself to be put into damnation. I'm telling you. No matter what that man has done in the past, even if it's a recent past, what he has done in the presidency looks like to me that God has his hand on him. So that those who have eyes to see and ears to hear can turn from whatever they're doing and follow and come out of the darkness. Not necessarily follow Trump because he ain't all right. He got issues. But you got to come out of that, that Democratic Party because it's it's nothing but the devil. The, the, the Democratic Party is nothing but a devil, a, 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 a doctrine of demons. And you need to come out of that. You need to come out of that Marxist mindset. You need to come out of all of that. 
now I'm, I'm talking to children of God I'm not talking to people who are just in the world and of the world and want to live in the world and think that's all this is that's all there is is what you got right here in front of you if that's what you think then yeah maybe you're going to want a Marxist system you're stupid anyway because you don't understand what the Marxist system is you think it's rainbows and, and skittles and you think it's ha ha and, and everybody gets the same thing and you're not understanding that there's going to be that 1% at the top and you're going to be so low with everybody else around you, you're all going to be poor and broke. All of you. You're all going to be poor and broke and that's what exactly what you get. Now me personally, I want to be raptured. And if I don't get raptured, then I want God to allow something to happen to take me out. I'm not suicidal. I love what I'm doing. I love everything that I'm doing right now. I love the fact that I have money in the bank. I love the fact that if all this crap wasn't going around, I could go somewhere, see something that I want for a couple of thousand dollars, and I could use my checking account and get it. I love the fact that if I wanted to take a vacation for a month out of the country, and all this crap wasn't going around, I could go and get my plane ticket, set up myself in a, in a, in a, in a foreign country, rent a room, probably rent a car for the amount of money I have in my checking account. There's not a lot. Trust me, if I did that, my, my account would be empty. <laughs> By the time I did a round trip and came home, it'd be empty, but I could still do it right now if I wanted to. Well, if the stuff wasn't going around. So I'm not, I'm not suicidal, not by any means, but I don't want to be here when this stuff hits the fan because right now, Trump is the restrainer. You're not understanding me. If you're a child of God, you need to hear me. You need to listen. Trump is the restrainer from the destruction that's about to happen to the world. Not because he's righteous, but because God put him there. To wake people up and to bring them out of the, the, the darkness of the Democratic Party. It says, because you're neither hot or cold and you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. If you're in the middle and you're lukewarm because you like abortions or you like gay people or you want this, that, and the other and you refuse to get out of the party that's ran by the devil, you refuse to turn from that wickedness, then that's going to be on you. If you refuse to go the other way because you don't like Trump, you don't like the way he stands in his hair, you don't like how he is. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's funny. He really is. And there are a lot of things that irritate me about him. But it ain't about him. It's about what's right and what's wrong. It's about light and dark. It's not about Democrat and Republicans. It's about righteousness and wickedness. And you need to make a choice today. Whether you're going to stand in the middle because you don't like Trump. Or you're going to move away from the middle and go to the right or go to the left. It's better, actually, if you go all the way to the left because if you're here after the rapture and you've become to the point to where you know you need to repent, you might actually make it. But if you're stuck in the middle and that's where you are because you don't want to go to Trump but you know what's going on on the other side of Trump, you're going to be spit out and you're not... You're, <laughs> you might as well just give it up now you might as well just give it up now but yeah I'm telling you if you're if you're a child of God you need to repent all this black lives matter stuff is nothing but a spawn from hell spawn from the lake of fire is nothing but the devil Antifa is nothing but a bunch of wicked white people that actually are racist and they're upset 
because they are full of lasciviousness, they're full of covetousness, they're full of envy, and they're full of strife. They're a bunch of wicked savages destroying everything because they want something that they don't have. I don't aspire to be rich. I don't aspire to be a millionaire. I am content with what I have. That is the basis of Marxism. Is that you look at what somebody else have and you measure your value by what somebody else has and what you don't have. And you think to yourself, oh, well, they have three cars. I don't want to have, I don't even have one car. They have three cars. Government, tell them to give me one of their cars. You're wicked. Oh, I have a house. I have a two-bedroom house with one and a half bathrooms. I have a small kitchen, you know, and I got five kids, you know, and the kids share the room and I share the off bed, the off uh, living room, you know. But Susie and Johnny down the street have two people in their house and they got eight bedrooms. Government take their 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 house and distribute it. They, they let the homeless people go in there. You're wicked. It's evil. Is it ridiculous that uh, 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 those two, whatever names I, I named them, is it ridiculous that there are two people living in an eight-bedroom house? Yeah, it might be. But I don't know what else goes on in their house. Maybe they have many grandchildren that they allow come and stay in their house from time to time. This is America. They don't got to give you, they don't have to allow you into their house if they don't want you in their house. You have a house. Be content with your house. That's that's what's that's what's the problem with you people. Your your discontentment. But you you look. You, I didn't start this out to be like this. I actually really did start this out to 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 uh, be thankful for my truck driving, because um, eventually that's probably all. This is probably all what I'm gonna end my life in is probably with my trucking. I don't foresee anything good coming out of what's going on right now in the world. If I was, if I believed that I could live longer and that, you know, I could, I could do other things because I'm not going to submit to their mask wearing or their vaccines or anything else that they got coming out, you people te seem, seem to forget civil rights movement, real civil rights movement, when blacks went and sat at diners that it said whites only or no colored folks in here. You don't understand true civil disobedience. You think burning down businesses in black neighborhoods is a, 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 a civil disobedience. You don't understand that me refusing to wear a mask because, first of all, I get headaches. Second of all, I'm not going to put a muzzle over my face. And you don't seem to understand that that is the same thing as Rosa Parks saying, I'm not going to get up and sit in the back of the bus. I just got off work. I'm going to sit right here. And if you want to take me to jail, go right ahead. You don't understand that me not wearing a mask is the same thing as Rosa Parks refusing to get up and go to the back of the bus. Me not wearing a mask is the same thing with black people refusing to get up out of that whites only and sit there civilly. The same thing. It's the same thing. Now, if I believed that everything was going to be okay without me having to, to submit to all this, this lies and deceit, then the next thing I would do would get my aviation license. You know why? Because I'm an American and I can do that. Well, I could. Well, anyways, I, I need to go. I, I, should, I suppose I've gone in. I suppose, I suppose I've been gone. Oh my God, Jesus, I didn't expect to do all that. I just wanted to say, you know, I wasn't grateful for driving my truck. That's all. But uh, anyways, maybe this is for somebody. I don't know who. Nobody watches. Not really. I mean, there's one or two people that watch videos and I appreciate them. But I don't know who will see this. Anyways, um, 
or who would even watch it all the way through to get to the point <laughs> anyways uh so anyway y'all have a good one um i'm hoping that um all things go good today um that uh have a safe travels and everything i don't know why i'm making this video if, if, if just in case something happens to me i guess then you understand why because if I make a prayer to God, you have to understand, I'm a child of God. He said, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, ask what you will and you will have what you say. It also says, pray to your father in secret and you shall re he shall reward you openly. There are things that I pray for in secret that he manifests in my life. Now, I'm not saying that something bad is going to happen to me, but it, you never know. Because although it's not a secret prayer, that is my prayer. That if my number is not necessarily up to be raptured, then I want to leave this place before the fall of America. Because once America falls, because God took the restrainer out of the White House, it's over for the world not just America it's over for the world when America falls the world is going to go to hell in a handbasket because there is not going to be any other presidents there's not going to be any other administrations like there is in the White House right now so if anything happens to me if I get into a truck fire or roll off the, the thing or somebody ends up hurting me or something like that just know that I'm okay because I want to go and be with my father I don't want to be here anymore you people are disgusting I I, 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 I can't stand it I don't want to be here amongst this wickedness I don't want to be here anymore I want to leave this place And it's a shame. It's a shame because I'm enjoying my life right now. 